Hey you guys, here Mark the Geek. In this video, I want to share with you guys a very cool Android launcher that I've been using recently on my Galaxy Note 3. Uh, this launcher is called Aviate and it's in beta and the only way to use this um, launcher is by invitation only. So you have to download the app and there will be some spot right there where it says put your email and you have to wait till you get a code but I just got my code like uh, four days ago and I've been using this launcher since then and I've been trying to, you know, to uh, learn it a lot more because um, it's very simple. It looks very, very simple, but it has a lot of things going um, um, in the background. For example, um, here, like you see over here in the top, you got uh, like a little home logo right there and you got the hour, you got the, uh, the date right here when you swipe down or you hit right here. You're going to get um, the alarm available. You're going to get do not disturb feature from the phone. If you tap there, it will turn it on. If you untap it, it will turn it off. Over here, you're going to have apps that are only going to be available to you at home. Apps that you want to have available at home. Um, uh, it's very cool. This is very cool because you could tap right here and it will give you more recommendation of other apps you can have. Um, uh, if you don't like this one, for example, go ahead and remove and it will automatically show you the, the next one you go click there boom so right now it says i already clicked remove so many times so now it says we're constantly on the lookout for great new apps please check back again later uh, but from right here you can also add like for example if you want an app there that you want to have it available when you're at home uh, for example let's say google plus i could go ahead over here and put it right there so that way, um, I would always have this app available here when I'm at home. Uh, that's very cool. Over here, you got uh, the uh, El Paso weather and everything. When you tap right there, it will take you to the Google search. Uh, so you can see your weather. Um, over here, you could go ahead and tap it to work. So when you're at work, you're going to get different options right here. Uh, you're going to get the option to send an email email, Gmail, Yahoo mail. So you're gonna have available here all the ones that you email clients that you have, but you could go ahead and choose one as default. I rather leave it like that because sometimes I use Yahoo instead of Gmail. So for me, I rather leave it like that, but if you use just one, you could just select, um, always select this one. Also here you got new event. So when you tap right there, automatically it's gonna take you to the new event. Um, page from the calendar and from here you could just enter it right away instead of going to the calendar and then looking for a new event um, that's very very good very convenient and over here you got work related apps tap right there you got all your work related apps as well and of course if you want to swap change what some of them you can go ahead back to your draw and add some of them there um, over here you got your whatever it's in your calendar like for example today is my payday so i have it right there because that's in my calendar uh, so any event that you have in your calendar for today or for tomorrow you're gonna see it right there too so that's very very cool also you got going somewhere when you're traveling this is a very cool feature too because when you're traveling and you have the phone in your car the phone is moving so it recognizes that your phone is moving and it will automatically when you look at your phone automatically this is going to be set to um going somewhere this is automatically going to be set there to green and and when you have that from here you could go ahead and check traffic you could go ahead and i'm going to go ahead and choose always use the google map from here you're gonna it's gonna show you the traffic based on the google map and your location which is something very cool you can see the greens the the reds if there's heavy heavy traffic over here as well you can put, go ahead and put um your enter your full address here for your home uh, for your workplace and it will show you automatically the traffic from wherever you're at to your workplace that's awesome too uh, going somewhere you got some apps here for related to going somewhere you can go ahead of course put any app there as well uh, right now i got trip advisor and maps but you could go ahead and add any app and of course you can always click here it's going to give you um some suggestions like for example the Waze social gps map that's a very good app to have that's very cool. Let me go ahead and take this one out. I don't want that one. And it has the gas buddy. I can go ahead and put the gas buddy there. And Yelp. Yeah, I want Yelp there. And food spotting. Yeah, I want food spotting. Open table. Yeah. Uh, trip it. Nah, I don't want that. All trails. Nah. 
and uh, uh, so you get the idea very very cool let me go ahead close that back up and now you got these apps are always gonna be there when you select the going somewhere tab and looks very cool I like it like it like it very much over here it has a very cool feature that it will let you check check in uh, for example when you're at one location like for example if you're near a gym it will automatically show you like a dumbbells here logo and it'll show in from when you tap right here it will automatically let you check in when you click the check in it will automatically take you to the foursquare app but if you don't have it installed it will take you to the app store so you can download it um that's a good feature if you use foursquare i don't so that um i would suggest the developers to um make me uh give me the option to select whatever app i want to check in like for example if i want to choose um on facebook for checking in give me facebook there let me let, let me use facebook or or google plus that would be a plus there if they do that over here i could go ahead and activate the camera right now i don't have the uh, camera so associated with that uh, post i could post um twitter or google plus um, i don't have facebook here because i'm not using facebook but if you had facebook you're gonna have there you go fast tweet or fast um, message lo your location which is very cool um, over here same thing as well this will always change depending on your location you're at which is very very awesome if you click right here nearby it will automatically show you all the places nearby you uh, over here i click the click the baseball field uh, which is right next to home and now like you see right here you got the northeast regional park you got the camera post check-in um, here now like you see right here the apps change to watching sports you can click right there and I could go ahead and okay you put this uh, Yahoo sport remove uh, remove very very nice i like that that's an awesome feature i believe that's an awesome and useful feature too um here you always gonna have some images of the location you're um putting right there which is awesome also another cool feature let me see if i can get another place with different uh, images too um of course the images are gonna appear only if um those images in those locations have been uh, um shared this is El Paso Community College. Uh, like you see, this one doesn't actually have images, so it's not showing me images. So that's nice. Let's go ahead and click here, home again. Um, over here, you're always going to have the apps that you have favorite. For example, I could put any app here I want. If I want to remove one, I could just go ahead and remove one. Or I could go ahead to the draw right here, which the draw is very cool. It's in alphabetically order. Uh, you could go ahead and drag any app to your favorites right here. That's very cool. Over here, you can have an image. You can have widgets. Right now, I just have an image here. So I could tap and hold to change it if I want. If I want to change the image, I just could go click there and go to gallery, go to Dropbox, anywhere that I want, and I could go ahead and change the image. I can also add a widget as well. If I click right here, let's go here. I could add any widget. I think you can add up to three widgets right there, which is not bad. Um, here, let me go ahead and choose any widget here, one that I use a lot. Uh, dog catcher, because that's my uh, podcast app. And right there, click right here, and look at that. Now I got my podcaster app right there. So if I click here. <laughs> right there i got my podcast app which is awesome and my picture get reduced right there so it could fit a lot better and i can also put another widget here if i want as well and it, uh, anytime i change the pictures um over here click here over here you're gonna have collections all your apps by collection social i got these as my social uh shopping i got these as my shopping apps entertainment these are my entertainment apps and as well you can always change these from your draw as well and if you want to change the categories here you could go ahead over here click right there and you could change the categories as well for example i could change um i could put here um let me see let me see let me see settings settings is not selected so if i click settings click ok now you got a settings um, section right here could click here it will always give you um, 
any suggestion that you want right there very very cool or of course you could go ahead and if you want to drag an app like here go ahead and drag an app right there in settings because these would be apps that I would actually put in settings so that's very cool as well uh, I like having this right there because I right away I know all the apps I keep all my apps here organized which are all my favorite social or my favorite shopping or my favorite entertainment apps and I can have them always handy which I like over here you have the draw like I said from A to Z you got here you can also drag to whatever letter you want to go fast away and that's it you can open up any app there very very nice you click here it'll take you back home uh, let's go over here in settings you click here in settings you can also change to dark theme which is my favorite theme because it looks freaking awesome um, this is how I keep it all the time but the white theme is always gonna be the default when you install it the first time it's gonna be all white but this is my favorite theme, the dark theme. And it's not black black, it's like more it's like more carbon color, which is it makes it look a lot better, a lot more elegant. So that is very, very cool. I love it. Love it, love it real much. Um over here in settings, what else can you do? You could also put um whatever apps here you want in settings as well. Um you can see your battery percentage if you click right there. It'll take you to your battery percentage, um, battery um, page right there, which is cool. Over here, you can turn on or off power save. And from here, for example, if I have this layout right here, and want I want to share it, I could go ahead and click here, and it will share that layout. I could go ahead and tweet it. And like you see here, I could see uh, my Twitter automatically recognizes my Twitter. Uh, you can see the whole image. It's like taking a screenshot, um, but without doing the screenshot um, physically. Um, and from here, I could go ahead and just tweet it. Now that screenshot has been tweeted to my account. Very awesome. I could go ahead and tap right here as well, and I could go ahead and select on um, my Google Plus, and I can also post it. So that's great that it has the option there, not just tweet, but it also has the option to share the image by uh, by messaging as well. I could share this layout with my friends uh, using my messaging app or my Hangouts app, or whatever app you use. Uh, that feature, I like it very much. And over here, I could go ahead and invite um, up to five people to use this app. So um, the first four people that send me... Um, Put the emails there on my on my comments. I will send you guys it, an invitation. I can't send five because I already have one from Google Plus that asked me for the for the invitation. So I have one reserved for him. And so if, if the first four people that put the, their email in my descriptions and my comments, I will send you guys an invitation if you're interested in this. So guys, um, this is a very very cool um, launcher. I been loving it since I put it because um, this um, app or launcher is the way that I like my launchers or the way I like to see my phone make it look simple I like my phone to look simple um, very very functional that I could change it and customize it to my liking and it has everything that I like you know the, the location features are freaking awesome I like it very much um, that's something you don't really see on other, other launchers and uh, I think it's very cool. Now, when it comes out of, uh, out of um, beta, I don't know if this is going to be a free app. I don't know if it's going to be a paid app. If it's a paid app, honestly, the way that I'm looking at this, and this is in beta, and it feels so smooth. For being in beta, it feels very, very smooth. It feels actually complete. And my only suggestion would be, the only suggestion would be that right here and in, in going somewhere... Or for example, in, in for example here in check-in, I would recommend the developer to let me choose whatever app I want there. Let me choose my app there instead of Foursquare. Let me choose Facebook or let me choose Google Plus, but let me choose whatever app I want there. And I would say that this app is perfectly good. And if it's a paid app, I would definitely pay for this app. Uh, I would definitely pay for this app. Awesome app. So guys, I hope you guys liked the video. This was a look. And hands-on of the Aviate launcher 
for Android.